Well, when you're fighting Vitor Belfort, more often than not, it is a short day at the office. This man is an ill-intentioned striker. Lethal combination of speed and power. He has faced the best of the best throughout his career. And tonight, Joe, the Brazilian Southpaw, is back for more. Vitor Belfort is a true legend of the sport. He made his debut back in 1997 and is still amongst the elite of the elite today. So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, it's about using his weight to keep you there. Great hips as well. This guy is a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. His submissions are incredibly technical, and he chains them one after the other. You defend one, he attacks with another. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Belfort each advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Vitor Avino! This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 187 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Grandmaster. And when the action begins, I'll lift you in charge of Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this Ready one. Fight. Ready. All right, good to have you with us as we get underway here at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. So here is Vitor Belfort, early round one. Few guys, if any, are as good in the first five minutes as the Phenom and former you. Oh! <laughs> nice leg kick. This could be it right here. Oh, he might be out. Oh, huge shot there. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Experience. He's got double underhooks, Joe. Dropped down for flying triangle. Now it's deeper. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and that will do it! Great job, didn't waste any time, took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Yeah, so how about that, Joe? We can barely tell people what color the trunks are on these fighters, and we get the submission win. So not a lot of wasted time. He got the takedown early, and the submission came soon thereafter. Great effort, great technique here tonight. Let's see it one more time. Got the arm in deep under the neck, locked in tight, and it's over before they even get a chance to tap. And it's over before he even gets a chance to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 26 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, well, the celebration is on in the corner after the big submission win here tonight. He told us during fight week that he needed to prioritize a finish here. Decisions were not going to be enough to take his career where he wants to take it and expeditiously. So, gets the submission tonight. Now the celebration satisfying.